In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to build your own RC airplane from scratch, and the best part. It only costs around $50. Whether you're a beginner or just looking for a fun low budget project, this guide will walk you through everything you need materials, assembly, and even the first flight test. Let's get started. Here's the airplane body kit. Let's start by cutting out the pieces. This is a low-cost body kit, pretty fragile, and it can shatter with even the slightest bump. So if you're new to this, I'd suggest grabbing about 10 of these kits, or better yet, just cut your own out of cardboard. Here are all the parts of the plane's body, now I'll start assembling them using hot glue. Now watch carefully as I show you how to handle each piece step by step. Let me speed things up a little. Alright, the airframe's finished, now let's move on to installing the electronics. Here are the two vertical fins, I'll leave them for the final step. This is the ESC, and last but not least, here's the motor, it's essential. Now, I'll be using two servos to control the plane's movement. And of course, the servo arms are essential for connecting the servos to the control surfaces, and the motor mount. Next. We have the transmitter and receiver. I'm adding two carbon rods to strengthen the main wing and the tail fin. This is the spot for the servos. Place one on each side, making sure they're symmetrical. Next, I'll apply fiberglass tape to attach the tail rudder. I've already beveled the edges at a 45 degree angle for a better fit. Here's how I bevel the edges of the rudder at a 45 degree angle. Be sure to do this step carefully for the best results. I've done this so many times. You can call me a master now. I skipped the fiberglass tape and used regular tape instead, trying to save some costs. But now I'm starting to wonder, am I being too cheap? Here are the control horns and screws. Let me show you how I use them.
as you can see, I've mounted it on both the upper and lower control surfaces. Here's the servo arm, I've connected it to the control surfaces using a small steel rod, hooked up through the control horns and screws. Kinda feels like a waste cutting this extra bit off, but hey, it's gotta go. This is the heart of the plane, and it's time to put it in place. Now it's time to install the brain of the airplane. I've connected the ESC to the motor. And now I'll plug its signal wire into channel 3. The two servos go into channels 1 and 2. Just giving my airplane a little makeover. Let's feed the beast with a lipo. Seems like it's all ready to take flight. Uh oh, it's confused between left and right. I just need to switch the positions of the two servos. Okay, that's much better now. Now, let's attach the vertical stabilizers. These two are key to how stable it'll fly. These tiny vertical stabilizers might be small, but they're pure magic. Wow, it actually looks pretty badass. Time to test its power. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pose with it for a few shots. Let's admire it before takeoff. Because who knows, this might be its first and last flight. It could totally crash on the first try. I'm not so sure it'll survive. I'll let it warm up a little before the battle begins. Okay, let's go. Time to pray for a successful flight. Wow. This is an incredible feeling.
đón đi This is a basic guide for anyone who loves RC planes. I hope you find this video helpful. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to support me, and leave your thoughts in the comments so I can improve in future videos. Big thanks to everyone who prayed for it.